this is Domus de Janus de Campo Lantanu near a town called Florinas in the province of Sassari. Now, this is not too far from Alghero and also it's about half an hour south of Sassari town. But look at this. This is incredible. This is like a giant tomb carved onto this solid outcrop of what looks like limestone. But inside is a Domus de Janus. So we have a combination of like two different important styles in one here at this particular site. And it's like what, 20 feet, maybe 18 feet tall, 20 feet tall. It's beautifully carved. It's very rough now. It's got a lot of weathering on it, but this would have been precision carved. We timed this so well. The sun is moving round to the west. It's uh, like 2.30 in the afternoon in late September, just after the equinox. And this whole frontage is starting to be lit up. And I think this is part of the design of these sites here, these hypogeums, especially the frontage, the giant's tombs, the big tablet stones, they all have 3D relief carvings. And during different times of year, different times of the day, like we find at even like place like Silistani in Peru or Gebekli Tepe, these relief carvings come to life and and like a message, like information and like wisdom emerges from it, like it's holding on to the knowledge all controlled by the sun and the way it moves and the shadows it creates and so you only you don't only get that on the front of sites and around the edges you actually get that inside it when the sun illuminates inside the tombs itself like because all these giants tombs are specifically aligned this one for instance is pretty much aligned to the summer solstice sunset which is interesting because most of them are aligned the other way but you can see this is probably a natural outcrop here but it's been shaped. I think the whole thing has been shaped. You can see the markings, the chippings, and pretty rough hewn now. There's plants growing over it, private land, all this kind of stuff. But if you're in Sardinia, this is well worth a visit. One of the other things about these Domus de Janus, they go back very far. They go back to at least sometimes three to 4,000 BC, even older, 6,000 BC, we have some dated to, which suggests an extremely early uh, occupation especially the fact that we've got this design on it which is one of the giants tombs these are only supposed to be Bronze Age 1800 BC at the earliest but I believe this could be like the proto giants tomb one of the first that had this design was then taken up by the Naragic culture who added to the kind of long barrows giants tombs that we've seen all over Sardinia all 800 of them uh, and added this stuff so this could have been the first one the oldest one that had this particular style of this kind of relief carving rim around the top and one going across almost like dividing two worlds with the doorway going in and so it really is abstract and it may represent like um, going into the earth the two worlds the upper world the lower world there's different interpretations of what this could mean but to me this is extremely important. And the fact is you've got like a standing stone which would have almost blocked the entrance and be moved out at specific times. There may have been burials in it. It's known that these were burial sites often, but there's more around here. There's Naragis around here. There's other outcrops of stone. There's more giants graves, very badly ruined, but this one is utterly unique. So here we are, we're gonna come in now from at the back of this giant's tomb. Must remember actually down here, there was an entrance at the back as well. This has been broken off this bit, so you can get in. So yeah, you can climb in here. It's very impressive. This has been like carved out of solid rock. You can just about stand up in here. I'm sick over six foot, so it's a bit difficult. But yeah, you can see that it's been like a hypogeum, perfectly carved out. It's pretty, pretty stunning actually, look at it. It's a real treasure, this site. It's really rare. First heard about this site in Julian Cope's book, The uh, Megalithic European, and I've been looking for it ever since, since 2016 when I first started uh, exploring Sardinia. So to be in here is a real treat. Let's have a little look in this corner. There's some kind of bowl here. This is amazing. Look, you've got like a small kind of 
I'm looking at the front of it now, like a small kind of ceremonial altar. This is carved out of one piece of just outcrop rock. It looks like limestone. This is absolutely amazing. There's the entrance. Looks kind of messy from this side. There's actually a stone which actually makes up the kind of doorway. So it's almost like a proto giant's tomb. This is one I've been looking for since 2016. So it's taken me five years and four trips to find this one. And you can see, I didn't realize you could come inside it. I thought it was just a frontage carved on this side of a rock. But actually this is a proper Domus Gigianus tomb. And the thing is, it's like a proto giant's tomb because it has the frontage, which is identical to, you know, the shape of the tablet stones we find at sites like Codal Vecchio and Lilolgi, but it's also a Domus Gigianus carved out of solid rock. So this could be the first example of this style represented here in Sardinia. So we're looking towards the back of the tomb. You can see on the bottom part there, let's zoom in a bit, that top part looks like it's been broken open, but the lower part there, if I go in a bit closer, that's actually a shaped kind of hole. That it's very similar, that, that shape and size, to like the frontage, like the, the bottom part of the tablet stone that you actually find on the giant's tombs, especially the northern ones with the big tablet stone like Code of Betu and Lilolgi, for instance, near Arza Chenna. If we just zoom back out, we can see they're actually inside potentially a giant's tomb, but this is actually a Domus Gigianus, like a fairy house, like a carved hypogeum. This is the front just here. Down there, interestingly, you can actually see a kind of small standing stone that would mark the entrance. You've even got red on there as well, suggesting either it's been used recently in ceremony or as part of the original red ochre that was actually uh, this may have been interior painted with. We hope you enjoy the in looking at the interior here. It's very interesting. We're going to climb back out and have another look around before we go, get some couple of aerial shots. But yeah, you can clearly see there was two entrances in, the front and the back. So this is just climbing back out the way we came in, which is like the back entrance. The sun will be coming round to the front very soon as well. It's just starting to shine on it now. So we're actually getting the shadow effect, which I think many of these giant tombs frontages are part of. You can clearly see at the top there, it's got like a curved area, like a half circle with 3D relief carvings all the way around it, like rim, around the rim of the actual kind of site. Look, you can see you got it going up here all the way around there. And then also across here as well. And all the way down the bottom. So it's very similar. It's almost identical in design to a front of a giant's tomb. So this is really, really strange sight. And you also got this tablet stone here, which would kind of block the entrance. It makes you wonder if the stones there were stones that blocked the entrance to the giant's tombs as well. So to me, this is like super ancient. And you know, no one visits here, it's all on private land, but one of the most important sites, I believe, in Sardinia. So this is interesting, this stone out the front, actually. I've kind of, it's been, grabbing my attention because it looks like it could be not not just part of the Domus Gigianus but actually an outlier much like this one here so there could have been a and there's one over there as well this could, there could have been a series of stones here marking this particular alignment it could have even been like almost like a stone circle around it so we've reached a point in the afternoon I've been here for ages now where the sun is fully on it now pretty much so you can see the design much more clearly 
perfect sunlight. So we hope you enjoyed our visit to this remarkable site. It's just amazing. I don't even want to leave, but this is so worth a visit if you're in Sardinia. Dirt tracks though, so be aware, only certain types of cars, no sports cars are going to get here. And I've not been spotted by the farmer, so I think it's okay to visit if you just treat it with respect, like many of these sites. And that's just the last view, you can kind of see the side of it there. From, from, the, from the track, it just looks like a lump of rock. Also, there's been fires all over Sardinia, clearly here as well, right up to the giant's tomb. So you can see the darkness, that's actually a fire. So there could be natural wildfires were actually occurring very recently. Luckily, it didn't get damaged. It's still, still in really good condition. But yeah, I'm so pleased to have found this.